Good evening and welcome to News24. This is Marvin Samdani. Home Minister Asadu Zaman Khan Kamal said what really happened in Kumilla would come to the surface after a thorough investigation. Talking to reporters at the Secretariat, he further said that the incident took place in Kumilla to destroy the non secretarian spirit. On the other hand, Awami League General Secretary Ubaidul Qadir said BNP is the main patron of communal forces in Bangladesh. The BNP alleged that the incident of insulting the Quran took place with the help of the government at the Puja Mandap. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakrul Islam Alamgir made the allegation at a press conference at the party's Noya Bolton office in Dhaka. He added that in order to stay in power, they are trying to disrupt communal harmony. At the press conference, the leaders of different areas of the party highlighted the incident of the attack on the Puja Mandap located in their respective areas. After being closed for, for a year and a half due to corona situation, physical classes started at the Dhaka University from today. Physical teaching and examination activities are being carried out in compliance with the health rules. However, in addition to physical classes, any department or, or institute can take a maximum of 40% of the classes online. It was also said that the six-month semester should be completed in four months to shorten the session. The decision to conduct normal education activities was taken at the syndicate meeting of the highest policy-making committee of the university. Meanwhile, for the first time in the country, the admission test for the first year of graduation of 20 general and science and technology universities started today. 1,31,901 candidates are taking part in the examination in 26 centers all over the country from 12 noon. This time, there are 22,013 seats in three units, including science, humanities and commerce departments. 11 people will, complete, will compete for each seat. Awami League's UP chairman candidate has been killed in a brush fire by armed terrorists in Kaptai of Rangamati. The deceased was identified as Nithwai Marma. The incident took place in Aga, Agapara area of uh, Chitmaram Union of Kaptai Upazila on Sunday morning. However, Awami League General Secretary Haji Muhammad Musa Matabbar blamed the Chittagong Hill Tracts Jono Shonghuti Shumiti alias JSSS for the incident. It is learned that a group of armed terrorists attacked Agapara area of Chitmaram Union in Kaptai Puzila of Rangamati. The armed terrorists opened fire on Nethwai Mama and fled. Upon receiving the news, the law enforcers rushed to the spot and recovered the body from the scene. When the news spread, there was a tension among the Puzila Awami League leaders and workers. Additional police were deployed to bring the situation under control and army patrols were intensified. The body will be handed over to the family after autopsy. The body of a doctor named Joydev Kumar Dash was recovered from Kilkit Nikunjo 2 in Dhaka. Police recovered the body from a flat of house number 8, road number 15 Nikunjo 2 on Saturday night. He was later sent to Dhaka Medical College morgue for autopsy. According to the police, the tenants of the flat on the seventh floor of the flat got a bad smell and phoned the police. Later in the night, the door of the room was broken and the body of a doctor named Joydev Kumar Dash was found lying on the bed. At this time, the crime scene of CID also collected various clues from the spot. Now sports. The T20 World Cup starts today with the Oman episode. Bangladesh's World Cup mission would start with a match against Scotland on the first day of the event. The match would start at 8 p.m. Bangladesh time. Captain Mahmoudullah Riyad said the result of the warm-up match against Scotland will not have any effect. Besides, he wants his team to give their best against Scotland. And that's all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.